much of a game trail we are at seven creeks I want to go check on the the gifting bowl see how it weathered the winter and if it's still up I'll do a couple of whistles I miss being in the trees okay let's get at it starting to melt um, and I haven't been here since last fall and uh, I did yell my hellos um, I did a couple whistles I hope they, if they're here I hope they heard me and we'll just head in okay see you in a bit okay you guys keep your ears open and uh, I'm not even sure where to go in here I've got a lot of snow to go through hey Chickadees, wherever I go, I have one right beside me. I see some big tracks though. Oh my goodness. I gotta find a game trail. They're always with me. I hear you. I see you. All right. You just gave me some encouragement. I almost said no to this because of the snow four feet I was up to my hips coming over that fence right there and like I was just saying uh, these places they go you can't wear snowshoes because there's no way you can get through the underbush and through the bush itself it's so thick and then the logs and stuff underneath right yeah I'm about four feet off of the ground up on a drift here so if I sink through uh, you guys are gonna know it. Okay. Okay, I'm coming through. Uh, I got beds, beds, beds. I see beds here. Elk beds. Big uh, elk. I'll show you. Uh, he's kind of double backed. Yeah, there's more droppings over there. Ears open. I need to make it down into darker part of the trees down there. I'll talk a little bit here while we're walking. Uh, as I was saying, with the where are the game trails? Why is there no game trails? I'm coming on to some more tracks here. I'm not sure what they are. Ooh, these are big. Okay. Not sure. Wood knock. Not sure. Wood knock. There was a wood knock. Alright. I hope the camera picked it up. I need some nice flat ground with no snow <laughs> uh, oh I hear something whoa I think that might be a, I think that might be a tree rubbing uh, that sound was right next to me here okay <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a tree. Oh my goodness. This one right here. Right there. Yeah, it's a rubbing. 
rubbing on another tree. That freaked me out for a minute. It's so nice to be back in here. Okay, but look what I see. Look what I see. It survived. Not too bad. Okay, the gifting bowl survived. And I I heard one wood knock as I was coming in. I hope the camera picked it up. It is so nice to be back here in the bush, in the trees. And I did bring some stuff to put in it, and I will do that right now. I gotta clean it out. It looks like there's quite a bit of snow in there, but. <laughs> That's a crazy sound. Uh... We'll back off a little bit. We'll go back uh, the way it came and I'm just gonna find a place to sit and we'll just sit and listen for a little bit and I'll fill them back in the trees here for a little bit and I'll fill them back in the trees here. And then I'm hearing movement behind me. So. It's beautiful back here though. Uh, all, the, all the weight and burdens that you may carry. Uh, that tree is freaking me out. Um, after I've, I'm in here and I spend time with this clan and, and the one at home, um, after I leave here, I, I swear it feels as if they, whatever's here, it could be just just the trees themselves, the, the nature, the energy here, it just kind of takes all that from you, right? Um, it's different out in the wild though, I think. Like where there's man-made parks and, you know, they created all the concrete and cement and, and, uh, um, it's different, the energy's different than what's in a place like this, right? It is different and here it, it just seems to take all those things away, all those stresses and worries and, and 
like I'm usually in a daze as I leave here and drive home. Um, I'm so relaxed. It just got dead silent. Wow. Hello? Hello? Some goodies. I did. Silent. <sighs> I'm holding my breath. Okay. Got very quiet. Like eerie quiet. We're gonna back up a little bit. Need to find a good place to to sit. Oh dear! Oh, these are big. I still think this is an elk. A elk? Wait, maybe not. Ah. Yeah, it is. That's. You can see the hoof. The hoof. my breath away that one it's right where we're where my camera's looking okay I gotta set up here Okay, I was gonna say, they could be a long ways away from here, but when I was coming in, that would knock, right? That tells me something totally different. I've been thinking about this all winter. What I need is a cabin out here, or on the other side, on the east side, Seven Creeks. I don't know how I could ever accomplish that, just off the grid, right? And spend more time, our big furry forest friends. <laughs>
There's like snapping going on back over there. And that would be north. My truck is straight that way, about half a mile. Show you some. These are rabbits. Rabbit tracks. I can get over how quiet is it back here. Hey, that's hair. Uh, I'd imagine all of these tracks in here are elk. It would be elk. Elk hair. I'm guessing. A little scanning of the forest. Oops. freaks me out. Um, I'm sure the camera's picking it up, but out here it sounds very loud.
I'm gonna film a little bit here. My camera just zipped into the red, wow. Okay, that's not so good. I'm hearing movement. My chickadee came. Oh yeah. I hear walking. I really need a camera with an amazing 360 mic on it, like a zoom mic, and uh, maybe one day, right? Because I know, like I'm experiencing and hearing things back here, and I know, I wish you guys could hear it. I know you guys don't hear half of what I hear when I'm back here. My camera's in the red. We're heading out. Uh, my camera's in the red. That died really fast. I'm leaving. fresh one here. I'm going to walk right under it. Right. right. That's, I'd say, nine feet. Nine feet up. Yeah. That's fresh. That wasn't here this last fall. I know pretty much because I usually follow the same trail in, right? I can see what is new. Same make anything new go check out your your treats Back at the elk droppings. <laughs> Almost every time I come in or any of these locations, they're very, every single time, even the ones at home, they still stay hidden. They are still cautious and careful and uh, subtle, right? It's their nature. Except for the little baby Bigfoot. I still can't believe, I, that is something I will never get over. But I can't believe they just let her be in the open, right? Um, maybe they thought I didn't see her, but I've seen her. <laughs> and uh, I, there is more to that footage and I, I'm gonna one day put it all all out. And because there's times where you see her looking down and she's looking up and then she's looking right at me and you can see her eyes blinking and um, that was a gift. I felt blessed that I was able to capture that and to witness it because I could see her in my camera. I will sign off from Seven Creeks. See you in the trees. Bye for now.